Hi there, I'm Jonathan, and today we're going to very quickly walk through how to set up EPOS Connect and update the firmware on your Sennheiser wireless headset. The first thing you're going to want to do is go on over to Google or the search engine of your choice and do a search for EPOS Connect. One of our top results should be EPOSAudio.com with this header here, EPOS Connect Optimize and Personalize. You'll know you're in the right place when the page says EPOS Connect over here and Optimize and Personalize. We will scroll further down this page until we find Downloads for Windows, or if you're using a Mac, Downloads for Mac. Today we're going to use Windows for this demonstration. For the Windows download, we will find the .exe file and download there. Once that file has been downloaded, we can go down here and choose Show in Folder. Do a little refresh to make sure it's there, and voila, we should see this icon with EPOS Connect. We want to double-click that to open it up and choose Install. Choose Yes for any device changes. And then we'll open up the EPOS Connect Setup Wizard. Go ahead and click Next through here. Accept the license agreement. Feel free to go ahead and read through this if you would like. And then we'll click on Next and allow the Setup Wizard to do its thing. This might take a couple of minutes. And then we'll get to the EPOS Connect Setup Wizard completed portion. Here, we'll click Finish. We'll see Installation Successfully Completed, and we'll close. If it prompts you to reboot your computer, you should go ahead and do that. We're going to look for the EPOS Connect icon on your desktop. It should be this little black and white E here. We're going to double-click that to open it up. And once this window opens up, we'll go straight over to Updates at the top. And we're going to look at the action portion here. Now, on my screen, we have update prompting us for that. In some cases, you may not see the word update right away. So what you'll want to look for is whether or not the installed version and the new version are the same. If the new version for your headset base and or headset is higher than the installed version, you're going to want to do an update regardless. So if you don't see the word update, we'll come up here to options and go to check for updates. You'll get a little spinny wheel and it's going to say a new version of DEC is available. Would you like to update it now? We're going to say update. And now the update will get started for us. This might take a couple of minutes and when your headset updates, you may notice that your battery runs down and drains on the headset itself. If that happens, leave the headset on the charging base for another hour after the update is complete before you try to use it so it can charge itself back up again. When your update is complete, you should see a message that says update successful. Go ahead and click OK there. You'll now see that your new version and your installed version on EPOS Connect are identical and you can close out the EPOS Connect window because you are all done updating your firmware. Congrats. There you have it. You should be all updated now, ready to rock and roll with your Sennheiser wireless headset. But of course, if you have any other questions or you need any other help at all, always feel free to give us a call at 1-800-HEADSETS, where any one of our headset advisors would be more than happy to help you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.